Kia ora, good evening. A pregnant Prime Minister is so last week. Today, New Zealand made world headlines for another reason, by joining the space race. Rocket Lab has become only the second company in the world to put something into orbit, and New Zealand is just the 11th nation after a rocket was launched from Mahia on the east coast this afternoon. Alison Harley reports. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three... Ignition. Electron is off and New Zealand launches into that elite group of nations that can put payloads into space. Two minutes in, the first stage is a success. Stage to start up. Stage to magnetic. And another crucial moment. Fairing separation. Guidance is nominal. Speed is three kilometres per second. Please stand by as we continue to follow stage two burn. The mechanical voice of the commentator belies the extraordinary achievement. Vehicle is orbital. Which wraps up the initial part of our mission with a successful insertion into orbit. This is history. 16 years after Rocket Lab was established, the payload is in orbit. Yesterday's launch was delayed by boats in the wrong place, and Twitter users wondered whether it was a Hastings district councillor. Well, no, it wasn't our boat. Uh, we were in the exclusion zone. We had some kids on board and we were just going for a day's fishing. And launches before Christmas were delayed by technical issues and weather. It's been a long, long journey for Rocket Lab since their first liftoff in 2009. But today's success puts them into a unique space. Up till now, anyone who wanted their satellite in orbit had to piggyback on a big rocket that's expensive and inefficient. Now Rocket Lab's proved they can launch smaller payloads right up to where they need to go. And that's a place Rocket Lab wants to be, in business and in space. And now they're ready for more of these takeoffs in the future. Alison Harley, News Hub.